Hey, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. I have in my hand the brand new Noodler's Conrad Solid Black Flex Pen. Uh, it's brand new, just came out, um, and I wanted to compare it to the old Black Conrad because it actually used to be available in a brush pen for a very brief like prototype period, uh, and then also in the Conrad Rollerball pen which is currently being reworked. So um, there are some black Conrads that are kind of floating around out there, but they're a little bit different. They're, there's some subtle differences between the newer one and the older ones. So I thought it warranted shooting a video. So I'm gonna show you the old one versus the new one, which I just got in. New Conrad, old Conrad, can you even tell the difference? Maybe not. Well, probably not, because this is probably the first time you're even seeing the new one. This is the new one. I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. This is the old one. Now, when I say old, I mean the one that was previously available before this one came out. I'm shooting this video right now at the end of August 2012. So the new black Conrad Flex Pen just came out. There was previously a black Conrad rollerball pen and brush pen. Now, the brush pen was just a limited, like, prototype um, you know, pen. The rollerball pen was available a little bit longer, but hasn't been available for a little while. I happen to have uh, what was formerly a brush pen, but I currently don't have the brush tip for it, but the rest of the pen is really what's most important. So uh, what's changed between the old one and this new one? Um, the first and most notable one, before you even open up the pen, is that this is a little silver trim band here at the back finial, and uh, the new one does not have that little silver ring. Uh, why is that? Well, part of it's aesthetic, I guess, but really the most important uh, thing is that the old version had a piston that was built into the pen with no blind cap. So I'm actually moving the piston right now just by moving that part of the pen. The new Conrad and, and all the Conrad Flex pens that have come out are this design uh, of the new one that I'm holding here. It's got a blind cap that you remove and then you untwist this part here and that moves your piston inside. Now, it's not just an aesthetic difference. Okay, you got the little silver trim here and that's, that is an aesthetic difference, but really the more important part is that it is a functional difference. Not only because the piston mechanism inside is different, but because with the old version, one of the problems that you had was that when you posted the pen, you could twist the cap and it would move the piston inside. As you can see here through the ink window, that piston is moving up and down. So if you happen to be writing with it and either your hand moved it or you bumped it or something, it could move the piston and shoot ink out of the pen. Not exactly ideal. So that was one thing that was improved because now, worst case, you unscrew the thing and frankly, that it was changed a little bit so that it would kind of hold more to the body instead of just to the cap. But let's just say, theoretically, your blind cap was a little bit loose and, you know, uh, let's see if I can get it stuck up in there. Okay, so the blind cap is a little bit loose and I pull it off. Well, the worst case is the blind cap is going to get kind of stuck up in the cap a little bit. Okay, so you screw it back on and, you know, you... Are, are fine, but you're not going to have the piston moving as a result of posting the pen. So kudos there. Another thing here that I can probably point out is that the ink window is a different color. One of the things that always kind of annoyed me about the original um, black uh, Conrad was that the ink window kind of ended up looking this tinted yellow color, which looks yeah, not as ideal to me as a clear one. Well, the new one now is clear. It looks much better. And seeing the two side by side, you can definitely tell a difference there between uh, the two colors. So there you go. The old one, new one. I like the new one much better. Okay. Um, and then uh, going back to the piston rod, uh, with the new one, it's very easy to disassemble because basically you remove the blind cap, you grab, you know, the lower part of the threads right here, and you are able to let me get it. There you go. You grab these threads right here, hold on to the body of the pen, and just twist it. Instead of just twisting the top part, you twist the whole uh, threads there, and it pulls out, unscrews the whole mechanism 
There you go. You have the whole mechanism right there. You don't need any tools, anything special to be able to pull this mechanism out. And then all you have to do is, you know, have have uh, untwist that a little bit and you can pull you know, the whole thing out. You can change the O-rings if you need to. Um, you probably won't need to for a very, very long time, but you have the option. Put the thing back in there, bam, and you're good to go. It's really, really pretty user-friendly, especially considering uh, most fountain pens, they don't. They tell you not to even try to disassemble them if you want to keep your warranty or whatever. Noodlers is not like that at all. You can take the thing apart to your heart's content. In order to take apart the old one, what you would have to do is grab a Q-tip and kind of um, jam the thing up in there to provide resistance against the piston as it moves down. Um, and then you would have to unscrew it with the thing kind of jammed in place. It takes a little bit of force and holding the thing in there to be able to do it. Um, with that back pressure, you're able to then pull the whole thing out. And looking at the mechanism inside um, and comparing the two, the seals that come on the new Conrad are much better than what was on the original one. I mean, it still gets the job done, but the old one was this kind of um, you know, plasticky thing, and it has like these little, these little um, ribs here, I guess, that kind of rub up against the side. But it's really not as good a seal as rubber O-rings are. So it's a double rubber O-ring here on the new Conrad, and it operates a little smoother. And you can grease, put some silicone grease on there. It'll work really well for a long time. You can replace the O-rings very easily. You can find the O-rings at a hardware store very simple and easy to replace. So the maintainability of the new Conrad is is very, very good. So um, that's, that's basically all the differences, aside from the fact that obviously this is a flex nib pen. At the time that these older versions came out, there was no Conrad fountain pen. It was only a rollerball pen or a brush pen. So, you know, you've got that in there too. But the... Um, the old version, I believe, is gone, is not coming back out anymore. I know that the rollerball and the brush pen are both being uh, reworked right now. I have no idea when new ones are going to come out. Um, but the flex pen is available and will be for the foreseeable future. So this is really what you're working with now and what you should really focus on more. I just thought since these are the previous Conrad Black pens that are out there, it was worth comparing the two just so you could see that there are some minor differences. And if you happen to see anybody that has any of these uh, older black Conrads that you know the difference between them. I'm pretty sure I about covered all the differences between the old and the new black Conrad pens, but it doesn't really matter because the flex pen is the only one that's available now anyway. I hear that Noodlers is going to be coming out with the brush pen, rollerball pen at some point, but yeah, I don't really know when that's going to be. So don't get your hopes up on that. Really focus on the flex pen part of this video. But anyway, I, sh I should have covered just about everything. If you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email at brian at goulaypens.com or post in the comments here. I'd be happy to hear what you have to say. Thanks so much for watching and right on.